Hello again and welcome back. My name is Vados and in this video we're going to be talking about running and everything that you need to know about leveling the skill, what skills are going to be the best, and so on and so forth. So with running, running is actually really interesting to me. So the main running skill here is just, you know, just like any any of the other skills. You have it when you get it to max level 100, you get 25 points, you get to put the points in the skill tree. We'll go over those a little bit later. So I decided to do some testing to see how you get experience from running. Like what is it that determines experience in running? So making new character after new character, the nomads. Um, I went ahead and I made a little track here now each of these yellow blocks are increments of 10 so this is 100 blocks in total and so i started out with one block and i made five different characters and i just traveled one block it didn't register every time giving me experience but when it did register it was always the same experience no matter what uh, it doesn't matter what block you're traveling on i i just closed that no, like it, it doesn't matter what you're running on, at least from what I found that it run on anything. It does not matter. So one block gave you the same. Then I tried. Then I went up to like 10 blocks, 50 blocks, 100 blocks, all the same. Then I did the same test minus the single block with speed food and same exact thing. So from my testing is that running is it's based about the distance of it. It doesn't matter uh, where you're running, what you're running on, things like that, how fast you're going. It's all about how far you're going. So more amount of blocks traveled means more experience for the running skill. So the best thing that you're going to want to do in order to do this now in my opinion, running is just going to level like it's just going to do its thing. I don't think it's one of those skills that you need to go out of your way to level. But if you're like a completionist or something like that and you really want to to grind it out, this to me is the best strategy to do. Get speed food. And if there I can't think of off the top of my head, if there is, I haven't actually looked. If there is, I can put it up on the screen now. Okay, so if nothing popped up, then that means there's nothing. So if there's any armor or like accessories or anything like that, then uh, that increase your speed and then whip all that stuff, get as fast as possible, get the best speed food that you can, whatever. And then you can either you can either make yourself a track like this. That's what I did. You know, you can do that or you can just use the in game track that's there after you kill Gorm the Devourer. You can just go through here, clear up all the slime, and you have a track, and you're just going to run that. And that is that is how you're going to level running. And the faster you are doing your laps around this, the faster you're going to level. Because it is about how many blocks traveled, not about, you know, uh, like, just actually, like, running. So... I did two other tests to, to prove this is you cannot just run into a wall like this. Uh, you will not get uh, you will not get any experience as well as I tried kind of running backwards on a treadmill and it does a uh, uh, treadmill conveyor belt. Um, so you can't just run on like a backwards conveyor belt. It doesn't do anything. So that is the best way is just get as fast as possible, as fast as you possibly can and go run on a track that's all you gotta do if you really want to grind it out my opinion don't worry about it just play the game as long as you're playing the game you're gonna level it up you're gonna you're gonna get there nice and far so i want to talk about skills so the first one that we are going to talk about is endurance runner so endurance runner is when you run you drain your food so that is the fastest way of draining your food in the game and I think that might be the only way. I haven't actually tested it. That will be a thing I'll test probably when I do the cooking skill. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so running the endurance runner means that you drain 
your food less when you're running. It goes by 5% increments, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25% at the final level. And that is, that's Endurance Runner, fantastic skill, always required if you're going to put points, you have to put points into running. Um, next one is going to be the Balance Stance. Balance Stance is also a really awesome one. Uh, again, going in 5% increments, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25%. You have a dodge chance after standing still for a short duration. Now, when they say a short duration, at least in my experience in this, it is a very short duration. I was very uh, skeptical of these kind of skills that say, oh, short duration, because in my thought is like, oh, if I'm fighting a boss, I have to stop. Don't move for like five seconds, kind of maybe five seconds is a little bit long, but to be dramatic, five seconds, and then I'll get this buff, you know. To me, that didn't sound worth it, but it is it is like probably like half of a second that you have to stand still. I think at most like maybe it's a second. I don't know. I haven't actually tested it. I'm not going to. But uh, in my experience, when they say short duration, it is always a very short duration. So this is another fantastic skill to go with. Definitely one that I recommend. Uh, one of my personal favorites, because I do a lot of running around and traveling, is going to be gotta go fast. Gotta go. Gotta go fast is it goes in 2% increments, so 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10% is movement speed after running consistently for a short duration. This one is awesome. I love doing this because if you stack, if you have this, and then you have speed food, and then you have the well-fed buff, you are flying across the map. It is incredible. Like you, You're just booking it. Very good time. Uh, another skill I recommend to you. Absolutely. So the next one we're going to do is on your toes. On your toes goes in 4% increments, so 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20% at the last level is movement speed boost for a short duration after dodging an attack. This is a really powerful one because like in, you know, we'll use like Gorm the Devourer, for example, is whenever you're fighting him, there's actually a pretty decent chance that you could accidentally get hit because he seems to have a wider hitbox than what he actually is. And so if you get hit, but you happen to dodge that, you now have speed and you're going faster to be able to dodge him on the next one. Plus, there's also just slime in the ground. So that's a huge benefit, you know, and, and speed is a huge thing in that fight, you know. So something like that is is very incredible. Highly worth it. And just yeah, if you dodge, you get that little speed boost. That is fantastic. So next one we're going to talk about is escape artist escape artist is also a really awesome one especially once you get into like the wilderness and stuff everything up there uh, snares and stuns you is ridiculous so this one in uh reduces the the lasting effects of a snare or a stun by 10 percent increments so 10 20 30 40 and 50 percent that is fantastic another highly recommended one Next one is keeping tempo. This goes in 3% increments of so 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15%. This is damage after consistently running for a short duration. So I know that I specified that it is a short duration, um, is a very short duration. Um, but to me, this one is is odd. I don't know. Like, I mean, I could see this being very effective in like a boss fight, but if you're fighting like little stuff, I don't really think that's going to be very effective because you're not really doing a lot of running, running little things. But I mean, I guess you don't really need too much damage of a boost. You know, I don't know. It's iffy. I'm skeptical on it. I'm not saying it's a bad one. I'm not saying it's a great one. Um, but, you know, depends on the player, I guess. For me, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's for me. So next one we're going to go in is encumbering presence. Encumbering presence goes in. So this one is a negative effect because this one actually doesn't work for you. Well, it works for you, but it doesn't apply to you. It applies to your enemies. Is any nearby enemy's movement speed is slowed down by goes in 5% increments of negative 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25%. So anything that is around you is slowed down by 20 25 percent that's a that's a huge deal and that is really fantastic and then last but not least is breaking barriers uh this just any so this is one that you can really kind of take advantage of too if you want to i haven't tested this one is it goes in one percent increments so one two three four and five is armor of current movement speed is increased so if your movement speed is well, I'm not. I'm not even gonna throw numbers out. 
you're getting armor based off of what your movement speed is. So if you have speed food, armor, things like that, probably even like the well-fed buff, you're getting more armor based off of how fast you're able to go. So that can actually be really awesome in like any boss fight, you know, whatever you got going on there. So my overall build that I recommend now I want to disclose something here when it comes to running skill tree is to me there is no one size fits all it is all like you're gonna have to kind of figure out what's gonna be best for you for me obviously you have to go endurance runner in order to get into the skill tree um, I like the gotta go fast but it's not a necessity but I do a lot of traveling and stuff like that I personally avoid combat as much as possible Escape artist uh, is a necessity to me because I absolutely hate getting snared by the little farmer guys. It's annoying. I hate it. And then uh, just to slow down movement speed because mostly what I'm doing, this works out for me. The on your toes is a really awesome ability. If you're going to go fight like a boss or just something big, whatever, you know. Keeping tempo, like I said, it's not really a for me. It could be really great. Uh, I don't know. Um, depends. So running, to me, running is going to be one of those things that you are going to be spending the 200 coins to reset the skill tree a lot because it is it is a situational-based skill tree. Like, depends on what you're going to be doing. You could have, like, you know, this. This is going to be, like, my go-to, but if I'm going to be you know, going to go fight a boss. I'm going to change this up. I'm going to, I'm going to go and do a lot of different things. Probably going to go into like this breaking barriers or on your toes, you know, whatever. There's no one size that fits all in this one, in my opinion, but that's just that. So, but that is the running skill tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, thank you so much for watching like, and subscribe, and don't forget to comment down below, letting me know if there's anything that I can do better, or if there's just something specific that you'd like to see on my channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Stay happy. Peace.